Hello, everyone, and welcome to the MacTBase.com Anacast series. I'm your host, John Kisiedu. In this installment in the Developmental Mathematics series, I'm going to discuss Prime and Composite Numbers, Part 3, Prime Factorizations. When considering the factor pairs of a number, unless the factor is repeated, as the value of one factor in a pair increases, the others decreases. For example, the factor pairs of 36 are 1 and 36, 2 and 18, 3 and 12, 4 and 9, 6 and 6, 9 and 4, 12 and 3, 18 and 2, and 36 and 1. With the exception of the repeated factor 6 and 6, as the first factor increases from smallest divisor 1 to the largest 36, the second factor decreases from the largest 36 to the smallest 1. Of course, after 6 and 6, the factor pairs are repeated, but in reverse order. So they are actually the same factors that we listed before 6 and 6. For any given dividend, divisor and quotient follow a similar balancing pattern. As one rises, the other falls, and vice versa. The fundamental theorem of arithmetic states that every whole number greater than 1 that is not prime is the product of one and only one set of prime numbers. In other words, every whole number has a unique prime number factorization. A whole number is said to be completely factored when its factors are all prime. For example, 30 equals 2 times 3 times 5 and cannot be written with any other set of prime factors. We saw in part 1 multiples and divisibility that 36 can be written as the quadruplet of factors 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. We now know that these factors are all prime and that 36 cannot be written with any other set of prime numbers. A power of a number is the result of multiplying that number by itself one or more times. An exponent is a number that indicates how many times a given number must be multiplied by itself to achieve a certain power. Exponents are a shorthand way of writing repeated factors and are usually indicated by a small number that is slightly above and to the right of a representative factor. For example, 9, which is 3 times 3, is the second power of 3, or 3 squared. 27, which is 3 times 3 times 3, is the third power of 3, or 3 cubed. And 81, which is 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, is the fourth power of 3, or 3 to the fourth power, or just 3 to the fourth. Earlier, we saw that the prime factorization of 36 is 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. In exponential notation, we can write 36 as 2 squared, times 3 squared. To write a whole number as a product of primes, the first step is to find two factors of the number. If at least one of the factors is prime, that is even better. If at least one of the numbers is not prime, then continue by searching for factors of the non-prime numbers. For example, to write 32 as a product of prime numbers, we can start by writing 32 as 2 times 16. 2 is prime, but 16 is not. So we continue by finding factors of 16. 16 can be written as 2 times 8, and 8 can be written as 2 times 4, and finally 4 equals 2 times 2. Putting it all together, 32 equals 2 times 16, which is equal to 2 times 2 times 8, which is equal to 2 times 2 times 2 times 4, which is finally equal to 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, or 2 to the fifth. Sometimes, completely factoring a number involves many steps. Factor trees can be very useful in organizing systematic factoring. To write a factor tree for 32, first note that 32 is even. So 32 is divisible by 2, a prime number. So we can put 2 on one branch and 32 divided by 2, or 16, on the other branch. 16 is also divisible by 2, so we can extend the branch with the first 2, place another 2 on a new branch, and then 16 divided by 2, or 8, on another new branch. 8 is also divisible by 2, so we can extend the branches with the first 2's, place another 2 on a new branch, and then 8 divided by 2, or 4, on another new branch. 4 is also divisible by 2, so we can extend the branches with the other 2's, place another 2 on a new branch, and then 4 divided by 2, or 2, on another new branch. So that we will have only 2's on the lowest branches, and the factorization can be read by multiplying the values on those lowest branches. 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, or 2 to the fifth. To write a factor tree for 360, first note that 360 is even. So 360 is divisible by 2, a prime number. 
So we can put 2 on one branch and 360 divided by 2, or 180, on the other branch. 180 is also divisible by 2. So we can extend the branch with the first 2, place another 2 on a new branch, and then 180 divided by 2, or 90, on another new branch. 90 is also divisible by 2, so we can extend the branches with the first 2s, place another 2 on a new branch, and then 90 divided by 2, or 45, on another new branch. 45 is not divisible by 2, but it is divisible by 3, so we can extend the branches with the 2s, place a 3 on a new branch, and then 45 divided by 3, or 15, on another new branch. 15 is also divisible by 3, so we can extend the branches with the 2s and the 3, place a 3 on a new branch, and then 15 divided by 3, or 5, on another new branch. 5 is the third prime, after 2 and 3, so all of the numbers on the lowest branches are prime, and the prime factorization of 360 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 times 5, or 2 cubed times 3 squared times 5.